This Fox 45 News segment is sponsored by the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Happening now, under new FDA regulations, all mammography facilities now have to notify women of their level of breast density. Professor of Diagnostic Radiology and Nuclear Medicine, Dr. Omer Awan, joins us now to explain. Good morning to you. Good morning, Shannon. So let's break this down. I mean, what do these changes mean, and why could they be life-saving for women? Well, it's so important to know your breast density because an increased breast density in a woman can increase your risk of having breast cancer at some point in your life. So, and the other thing is, is that you can only understand your breast density by getting a mammogram. So even if you do a breast exam by yourself or even if a doctor does a clinical breast exam, that doesn't determine your breast density. And we only see that on a mammogram. So, so important for women who are age 40 and above to get a mammogram. Yeah, absolutely. So before when you would get one, you wouldn't necessarily be notified if you had um, like your breast density, that wouldn't, you wouldn't know necessarily, right? Exactly, yeah. So these new FDA regulations are a gift really for women mm -hmm. because then they can understand their risk, their lifetime risk before that wasn't the case. And we know that the more dense your breasts are, the more likely it is for you to get breast cancer at some point in your life. So really important for women to understand uh, their breast density. And then also if they have dense breasts, mm -hmm. important for them to talk and communicate with their physicians and their radiologists and see if they need additional testing, things like maybe an ultrasound mm -hmm. or an MRI so that they can uh, decide whether or not there's anything that's worrisome in their breasts. Yeah, and so how is this kind of grading scale in a way going to work? How, how do you know what your results are? Can you break that down? Yeah, sure. So you'll typically get a grade of A, B, C, or D, and that honestly just depends on the composition of your breast. So the breast is made up of glandular tissue mm -hmm. and fat. So the more glandular tissue there is, the higher your grade is gonna be. So it's gonna be either a C or a D. But if you have, mm. your breast is predominantly more fat, it'll be A or B. So obviously if you have C or D, that classifies as having dense breast. So okay. that's when you may need to talk to your physician or your uh, radiologist and see if you need additional testing. I was going to say, well, what is your next step? Then you get that notification, C or D, you think next step, talk to your doctor? Yeah, I think that's critical, right? Yeah. Because, you know, you don't know if you may have a higher risk for breast cancer. So remember that breast cancer and normal glandular tissue can look very similar on a mammogram. It's mm. going to look white on a mammogram, right? So that can obscure, mm. uh, increased density can obscure maybe a small cancer on a mammogram, which is scary. So I think it's important for, you know, you to just have a conversation and be like, hey, like, do I need to get additional tests? Yeah. And, you know, maybe your physician will offer those tests for you. You talked about how crucial getting mammograms are. How often should women be doing this? So the United States Preventive Services Task Force recommends that everyone by the age of 40 get mm a mammogram and it should happen every two years. And this is critical because mm -hmm. honestly, having a mammogram will decrease your risk of death by 40% wow. compared to those that don't get a mammogram. And that's a huge percentage, that right? That is so huge. We have to encourage everyone, family, friends to get out and get a mammogram. Yeah, and do you think these changes, the FDA regulation changes, will this also save lives now that women can be alerted? Yeah, I think so. I think it's going to motivate women to go understand their risk, uh, to make sure that they're healthy. And this is all just a part of, you know, trying to live healthy and, you know, be yeah. better. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Dr. Awan, thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate this yeah, my information. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.